Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video on the storage API. So now that we've learned how to display the variables that we want or the content that we want um, from the inputs directly to the um, to the write box or to whatever ID or div we want, that was pretty easy for you guys that already know some JavaScript. Um, but I just wanted to give you the idea and uh, the core of all the functionality that we will use now. Uh, so this is pretty uh, useless, this uh, little program that we have now. So we can type here whatever we want, save it, and we have these parameters here. Uh, but this is not what the storage is all about. So I told you before that with this, we will be able to type anything here. Let's say this is a website. So we type anything here and here and click Save It. And this would be stored automatically into a variable in your computer. And whenever we return back to this program or this website, uh, this uh, these variables will be displayed automatically like it like if uh, they were uh, stored in the database okay so you will not lose or the user will not lose um, the values that he inserted or the options that he inserted um, later on you can use this for um, a shopping cart or a profile of a user in your website so it's very very useful and you will not need any database at all um, so the first thing we want to do is oh I forgot to mention that I th I think I mentioned you in the first um, in the first video of uh, the storage that you had to use the key and the value uh, that's not correct you don't have to use that okay that's just for you to have an idea uh, that the key and the value um were uh, the names of uh the names that we use to store uh these two uh, data in here okay these two um contents uh so you can take that out let's go here okay it's still going to work don't worry this is just for you to have an idea what we call the data and if you test it here type TTT and TTT and save it is still gonna work uh, what happens is that if I go to Google and return back these are not um, the results are not uh, stored and not displayed anymore okay so I'm going to show you how to be able to go and uh, navigate throughout the web to other websites and when you return back the values are gonna still appear here whatever values you type before okay so that this is what the storage API is all about to store values so the first thing you're gonna do is to uh, go to the do it function okay and here you're gonna type display and let's take let's leave it this way okay display and here let's get the one out okay the parameter and here as well okay so now the function will not have any parameters and here the function will be the function display will be uh, called automatically as soon as the page loads so this will be able to show you automatically the results okay of uh, of your content or data that is stored in your computer now the first thing I want to show you is whenever you go into your little program here I'm going to show you how to type something okay um, and as soon as you save it these automatically will be in blank okay so then you can type uh, something else and to do that and always gonna be stored the variables are, are going always be stored in your 
uh, computer or in your browser when I say your computer this is uh, this is uh, this will be stored in your browser the browser is using a variable so it will uh, store all the variables you're using uh, with HTML5 um, now let's go back here and here the first thing you're gonna do is after the display in here you're gonna type document get element by ID and here we type one and value equals to nothing okay this is the way that automatically the function um, will store the values will grab the values sorry and will store the values and then after uh, after calling the function display these are going to be set to zero or to nothing so let's grab this copy and this is two okay perfect now the next thing is in the display function I want to change a few little things in here the first thing I want you guys to do is let's take this out these two lines okay just leave the first line so we'll grab the right box will grab the document get element by ID now in here we type right box dot inner HTML oh equal to nothing okay this what this means is that uh, whenever we type in the left box uh, and click save those um, those values are going to be safe uh, in the browser but will not be displayed automatically in the right box they will be stored okay um, what we can also do is to create a loop so we will display all the content or all the um, the the values that we already have uh, stored and to do that we create a loop let's create the loop so to do that we type for and I think I told you yeah okay I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna create a way to whenever we click the save button the values will still be displayed okay all the values that we use will still be displayed and will be stored automatically so it's a good way for us to know what what we are going to store or what we are storing okay uh, the thing is that those variables and values will be stored and whenever we go to another web page and we ret return back those values will still be there okay so after that you can manage whatever attributes or options do you want to store and the others that you don't want to store it's uh, it's all uh, it's all using JavaScript so it's up to you to do whatever you want with it so for and here we type uh, var x equals 0 and here we type x session storage dot length this is the way we can uh, use uh, or loop through all the values uh, that we will store I'm not going to explain you how to use the for loop or what the for loop means because uh, if you don't know this you should go to the JavaScript uh, chapter and learn it now we type variable a it's going to equal to um, to access sorry to session storage dot key and here 
we're going to type x okay so this is basically to loop through the the like it fit like if it was an array okay we will loop through all these uh, values that we are storing in the form now we need another variable to create another variable which is going to be the b variable and type session storage and get item okay and here we type a which is the variable here a which holds the session story key basically every um, value in the session storage okay uh, now the next thing to do is let's type write box inner HTML equals equal to whatever we type here now the thing is uh, what this will do is whenever we click the save button it will display um, the values that we typed in the inputs but whenever we click it again um, and put another uh, values in the input uh, you we click it again and that display will disappear and will uh, replace that by the new uh, values I don't want that I want the old values to be displayed so we have a bunch of lines with all um, like if it was a, a, a database with all the values that we typed before so that's what the session storage is all about a, a list of items that we can store a list of um, variables and values now to do that we have before the equal sign we type the plus sign plus equal so that uh, will make will confirm that whenever we click uh, the old line will not disappear and will not be replaced and don't worry if you if you don't get the idea you um, you're already gonna see how that uh, is gonna work in a, just a minute now in here before the double quotes you type the a variable a and here you can type something like uh, let's say and and here you type plus and here you type uh, line break Okay, and I think we are all done. Now let me just show you what an awesome feature this is. I just uh, open the browser and refresh it. Okay, um, I did have the browser open, so as soon as I refreshed, I didn't have anything, and as soon as I t uh, click refresh, everything that I typed. Uh, since the first uh, video tutorial of uh, storage API appears in here okay and what appears is uh, the first value one okay which is this one and oh uh, instead of and let's take the and out and type something like this okay and let's save this let's save and return back refresh okay perfect so what this is is the storage of all the content that I typed in here in the other tutorials pretty cool huh it's uh, basically like a database okay and this was the last one Victor high okay now the only way to uh, put uh, or reset all this is to uh, go out and close the browser let me close the browser here okay and let me just open the browser now again and let me run this just a second okay so here we are okay and now let me type um, hello 
and something. Save it. Okay, there it is. Now let's type hi Victor. Save it. There it is. Okay, so whatever type, whatever you type now, it's going to be saved. Okay, and you can still uh, go, let's say, um, to another website like Google and uh, the news and whatever. And if you return back, they're still going to be here because it's a session storage, uh, basically, is like a mini MySQL database inserted in your uh, browser. So the only way to reset this is to uh, close uh, close your browser totally, and when you return back, you will have these uh, in blank. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty pretty awesome feature, and this will be able to instead of using all the sessions and cookies with PHP, you'll be able uh, through HTML5 and JavaScript uh, create. Um, create a mini uh, database with all the options in uh, f let's say for shopping cart something like that in your online um, shopping center website or something like that okay guys so this is all for now